Scotty Scheffler finishes off another win at Hilton Head to extend dominant run. Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, AP, Scotty Scheffler winning the RBC Heritage was inevitable. He returned to Harbortown on Monday morning with a five-shot lead and three holes to play. Scheffler ended his streak of 68 holes at par or better with a meaningless bogey for a 68. That gives him a three-shot victory. He wins for the fourth time in his last five starts, which includes the Masters. Scheffler is the first player since Bernhard Langer in 1985 to win the Masters and the following week on the PGA Tour. There is no one close to him in the game at the moment. NASCAR revels in an MJ moment. His endless gives a big boost to his post-hoops passion. Talladega, Alabama, AP, Michael Jordan's new life suddenly seems just as satisfying as his old one. This felt a whole lot like MJ knocking down a buzzer beater, winning the big game, celebrating like a champion. Of course, his title-winning days in the NBA are long behind him. But Jordan's current passion is filling that competitive void. For the first time since he became a NASCAR Cup team owner, Jordan was at the track to savor a victory by one of his drivers. Tyler Reddick stole a victory at Talladega Super Speedway when front-runner Michael McDowell wound up crashing with the finish line in sight. Next hires or the Fernandez as coach. Fernandez was King's associate head coach for two years. New York, AP, Jordi Fernandez was hired as coach of the Brooklyn Nets, who are looking to bounce back after missing the playoffs for the first time in six years. The Nets finished 32-50 and fired Jacques Vaughn at the All-Star break. Kevin Olley finished out the season as the interim coach. Fernandez spent the last two seasons as associate head coach of the Sacramento Kings, helping them reach the playoffs last year for the first time since 2006. The native of Barcelona, Spain, also coaches Canada's men's national team, leading the country to a bronze medal last year in the Basketball World Cup. Caitlin Clark's early play in WNBA will be her tryout for a roster spot on U.S. Olympic women's team. Springfield, Massachusetts, AP, Caitlin Clark will have the start of her WNBA career to show the U.S. Women's Basketball Selection Committee whether she deserves a spot on the Paris Olympic roster. Clark couldn't attend the U.S. training camp this month in Cleveland during the Final Four because she was still playing with Iowa. Attending the camp wasn't mandatory to make the team, but it certainly would have helped the NCAA all-time scoring leader show the selection committee whether she can hold her own against some of the best players in the world. The U.S. isn't expected to name its roster for the Paris Games before June 1st.